Tara Lynn with Five Acres Honey Farm. Got another uh, video in the Solstice Tradition series. Uh, today I am making an ornament and I'm doing it with some found objects similar to how I did the wreath yesterday. Right. Throughout the year, I've got this orchid that I adopted from a friend many years ago. And throughout the year, I collect these snail shells all around our yard and Maybe, oh, it looks like there's like a dead mosquito-y thing in here. Um, but um, I mean, eventually it might look pretty cool to be all shells in here, but I'm thinking what I'd like to do is put these all together into an ornament. Um, they're all so unique and beautiful. Um, and what I also was thinking of doing is I have some gold spray paint left over from, um, a little facelift I did to our living room this summer and I'm thinking I'm going to put these all together with some of that E6000 and then spray paint it gold. Part of me was thinking I should spray paint each of them first but I don't really want to I have time right now I took the day off and I have a lot to do today and I don't really this one has a little hole so it'll be good to like patch that up there. Um, but I think it'll be good. I don't want to spray paint each of them and wait for them to dry before gluing them together. I really just want to kind of get this little, not to like get it over with, but I, I want to stick with these traditions and I actually want to see them through. So I feel like the best bet for me and my time today is I, look how cute and tiny this one is, um, is I'm going to put these together in as creative a way as I can, um, which might require gluing some now and coming back in a few hours, gluing some more, and then I could spray paint it this evening, which I think is fine. And the spray paint dries fairly quickly. Um, so I feel pretty confident that I could spray it and let it dry for an hour and then, um, you know, it'll take longer to totally dry, but it'll be cured enough where I can get it hanging on the tree. So, um, but yeah, I'm gonna get these together and see what kind of ornament I can make from them. Another tradition I started last year was um, making pine needle tea. And there's plenty of stuff on, if you Google or if you search on YouTube, um, you'll probably find some resources about the um, super high vitamin C content of pine needles. And I listened to a podcast in the last probably three or four weeks, um, it's actually the No-Till Growers podcast, but I forget which episode it was on. And the guest speaker was sharing that the nutrient content of commercial oranges nowadays essentially has like no vitamin C in it. And similarly with commercially grown apples, I think you need to eat like 20 apples to get the iron content of what an apple had decades ago. So I <clears throat> figure it's a good time of year um, to kind of boost immunity uh, and I'm going to make some pine needle tea with some honey of course and I'm going to drink that while I make an ornament. All right, I just cut up those pine needles, they fit in here and I'm going to let this steep for probably five minutes and then I'll add some honey. I also grew ginger for the first time this year, um, which would probably be good to add to this, but I'm just gonna have it as some pine needles and some honey for now. Kind of like a bonus tradition, unrelated to the solstice, but definitely for the holiday season. Uh, I started because a friend actually inspired me back when I lived in New York. Um, she stopped sending out Christmas cards to everyone. Um, you know, friends and family and having to deal with, you know, lists of lots of people um, to send everything to and get every, you know, all the cards ready. And instead, she only sends a holiday card to anyone who sends her a card. So as soon as she receives one, she sends one back to the person. So I took that tip from her, um, which I think kind of helps reduce waste and things. Although maybe at some point it might be fun to do like a big holiday mailing out to everybody. Um, but I've never, I don't want to say never, but I would say I haven't really felt inclined to do that in a really, really long time. 
So the other kind of like environmentally friendly tip to go along with that, that I don't know if I heard it somewhere or if I just came up with it myself, but I save all of the holiday cards from the previous year. So like we received this last year and what I do is I just cut off the front of the card and I keep it intact until the following year so that I'm not sending the same card back to the person who sent this card. But, um, but I cut off the front and I turn it into a postcard. And so I don't have to go to the expense of buying anything. I don't have to throw this out or recycle it. Um, I can reuse it and uh, now someone else can enjoy it. So I got a holiday card yesterday. So now I am um, addressing this, getting it stamped and putting it out in the mailbox and hope that's a fun little bonus holiday tip for you. All right, so far, I'm just letting it kind of get a little tacky before I add some more. So those bottom two shells are fairly well together and I got these two little ones attached okay. So I'm just waiting for this top one to stay usually so far it's just taken like two minutes or so and my plan then let me see if i could gently roll this around here um is then i'm gonna get this one kind of on here and then i have like two or three more i could get on there but i think it'll be in a good enough place where it'll look interesting and then once it's spray painted gold um, it'll look even more interesting. Got my delicious pine needle and honey tea. Um, this is a mug that I got at our local farmer's market. And this, if you're from this region, you're, you're familiar with a little mill village called Saxapaha. And this is an abbreviation for that town. Um, kind of, it's right on the Haw River in, um, in Alamance County. Um, and kind of see my messy stuff going on here and I'm just, waiting to attach those ends here and then I'll be able to let this sit for the day and I will spray paint it later. I've got what will be the ornament. I got all the shells glued together. Let's see. I'll give you a better look at it shortly. And this is a matte metallic sunlit brass. It's kind of like I got a gold hue to it. Um, spray paint that I got the, over um, the summer when I did the accent wall with the B art gallery wall, which I'll link to. Uh, and this I also, I used it for um, the switch plate covers um, and I had like a kind of a navy blue wall. And so it has a good kind of contrast. And I think this will just look really festive with all the ornaments on the tree. So hopefully it'll come out okay. Okay, here's a closer look and I just got a scrap piece of paper that came with some packaging and it's always good to use what you've got. So I'm going to spritz this and hope for the best. Let me just stand back a bit in case there's a breeze. And of course it's blowing at me so let me go this side. I'm going to move this back. Great. grab stick here just kind of move it around I guess as soon as I don't want it to no that's exactly what I did not want to happen so all right now I've got this gross dirt on here not what I wanted need two hands right now all right I cleared off as much of the debris as I could um, then did another layer of paint over it. So hopefully it'll just add some texture. I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit before I move it around and spray the other sides. Um, but I think it's gonna look really cute and I can always throw some glitter on it if I wanna try to hide some of that dirt. I'm done. I just found this piece of twine left over from the garden last year and it fits perfectly between some of the shells, so I'm going to get this on the tree and see how it looks. The trick is finding a bare spot on the tree that has a strong branch. So I feel like most of our ornaments are fairly heavy. This isn't too heavy, but it just needs a little, I think up here will be good. Yes, now it looks great. 
to. So let me know if you've got any solstice traditions now, and you guess you can see my other little beekeeper ornaments here. Got some more here. And of course, I guess while I'm over here, I also, this was the ornament I made last year. It was just a piece of honeycomb and some wire from uh, making, you know, some of the frames for the hive. But, but yes, I'm liking how it looks and keep me posted on your solstice traditions.